hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it um, I don't know if you all are keeping up with what's going on in New York, but New York has pretty much been taken over, okay, y'all? Um, along with a lot of other places. It ain't just New York, but um, it, they setting it off in New York right now. And what started off as what they say, a peaceful protest, has um, grew into a bunch of people getting arrested right now. They're getting arrested by busloads right now, y'all. Um, they're taking over the streets of New York and this don't make no sense y'all we this is not our problem I keep saying this and I you know I'm not trying to be insensitive or anything like that but this is not our problem y'all it's not our problem and um, it's sad that we have come to this and pray for the people that lives in an area with all of this mess going on y'all Pray for the people. And I'm telling y'all, it ain't got bad yet. It has not got bad. I wanted to get up here and show y'all what's going on right now. Just some of the pictures. And remember, I was just talking about the women. Y'all better start watching these women because um, everybody's watching the men right now. They're not watching the women. And um, they, they just getting started, y'all. They really are. They're just getting started. We're not used to this mess that we're about to see take place in our streets right now. We're not used to this. And it's going to get bad, y'all. It's going to get bad before it get better. And they, like I said, they're getting, just getting started. There are a lot of people that's, um, you know, protesting. Them moving these, you know, city camps, camp city, whatever you want to call it, to their neighborhoods. Because they didn't buy properties in areas and now they're moving all of these migrants into their area and they're building tent tents y'all for people to live in this is what they're building um and people area where they're not used to all of this just flood of people coming in at you know we didn't ask for this and if you buy a property somewhere and then all of a sudden across the street you got some tents starting to come up and people you know nothing about, only thing that we do know about them is, you know, they are always in the middle of some, you know, drama as far as, I'm just saying, y'all. As far as, you know, kaboom and, and all of that stuff. Um, they are just getting started. And we're letting all these people over here and they're flooding the streets. I want to just show y'all some of this stuff, y'all. What in the world is it going to do with them flooding the streets here? I don't understand this. This makes no sense. When you're out here protesting like this, if you got all of these strong men and women too that's out here protesting, well, go back home and fight for your country. Don't take over hours. You know, they're all on top of the buses. Yes, y'all, they're on top of the buses. They're messing with the street signs and everything in New York. Trying to put they. Oh, Lord, y'all, that got me upset, okay? They are trying to put their flags all on. And, and all of this, too, I want y'all to pay attention that they're they're trying to get our attention off of something. And, y'all, I did some, I ran into some stuff today that is going to blow y'all mind of somebody that is, you know what I'm saying, might be on the chopping block right now. And they got all this stuff to keep us focused on while they are doing rituals in our face, these celebrities and all of this mess. Y'all, it's a lot going on right now. It is. And like I told y'all, watch these women. Okay? Watch these women. You can't, especially the ones that's covered up, really, really covered, covered, covered. These are the ones that, you know, you have to watch the most. I'm just trying to be honest with y'all. And I'm not trying to be on a bull crap or nothing like that, y'all. But these are the ones that you have to watch. This don't even look like America anymore. This looks like their country. Look at what y'all see, a sea of people. Look at this mess that's going on in the middle of our streets, y'all. And like I told you, they haven't gotten bad yet. 
when they start giving out the word for them to, you know, um, start showing anger and stuff like that, what y'all think they're going to do? What do y'all think is about to take place right now when they start showing anger? This is why I said, watch around y'all houses and stuff like this. Because don't be surprised when things just start, start going kaboom. Okay, y'all? They're mad. They're over here, but they're blaming America for what's going on in their country. And I just don't understand if you could come and, and show anger here, show anger in your country and take it back. Fight for your country. Don't run and come over here and turn, I'm just saying, turn ours inside out. Because we are already suffering from y'all even being here in the first place. Okay? And um, y'all, Lord knows, Papa Doug just put up a video and he was talking about, you know, what Biden just said, y'all. Let me let me play a little bit of this video while I'm showing y'all these pictures, okay? Um, Papa J Duck just put up a video and he was saying he posted up something that um. Wait a minute, y'all. Let me find it. He just posted up something that um. Wait a minute. Let me pull it up on my other thing. I can't pull it up on this. Give me a second, y'all. It's about to get really bad, y'all. And they're filling the schools up with, with, with them. I'm telling y'all, y'all better be careful with your kids in the school with them because don't be surprised. You know, we're used to people running up in the school and, you, you know, um, hitting up the place. But this is a whole nother ball game, okay? This is a whole nother ball game. It ain't like somebody running into a classroom in one classroom with a weapon and this and that and that and this. You talking about that some kaboom stuff. And and, and, and don't be surprised F, y'all. Don't be surprised F. And I'm going to tell y'all this right now. What is the video at? I don't even see it. Okay. Don't be surprised when things start burning. I'm just telling y'all this right now. Do not be surprised and prepare for this. My brother just said, spending levels uh, for the government, we were up right to the very edge, almost uh, reneged on our debt, and uh, that uh, we're going to fund essential priorities and still cut the deficit by $1 trillion over the next decade. Now a small group of extreme House Republicans, they don't want to live up to that deal, and everyone in America could be faced with, uh, uh, to, with paying the price for that. We changed it. We made a deal. We shook hands. We said, this is what we're going to do. And now they're reneging on the deal, which is not much of a surprise these days. And the black community in particular is going to suffer if that occurs. For example, shutdown is going to risk nutrition assistance to nearly 7 million moms and children. It's going to disproportionately affect black families. He said that the shutdowns is going to disproportionately affect the black communities, y'all. As if we ain't already affected by stuff that's going on right now. This is what Biden just said about the shutdowns, okay? But I want y'all to pay attention to something, okay? While y'all out here taking each other lives and doing all this stuff that y'all doing and not paying attention, okay? They are pretty much replacing us. I keep telling y'all this. They have in an Amazon warehouse right now, they have robots in there that they are, you know, testing out to see, you know, can they put these robots in these, you know, on these assembly lines, okay, y'all? And work these jobs that they were paying other people to do, okay? Yeah, I want y'all to pay attention to what's going on out here. I want y'all to pay attention to the fact that all of these big companies that's um, on strike right now and all of this stuff and all of these people that's talking about... um. Wait a minute, y'all. I got to play some more stuff for y'all. Biden is sitting up here talking about we're going to suffer the most. Okay, y'all? But I want y'all to pay attention to something. Okay? Not just him saying that we're going to suffer. We're already suffering. You know, y'all just pushed us to the back and, and, and put everybody in front of us that's not even from here. And we're the ones that have been paid for this stuff. Okay? That they're giving them and these vouchers and all of that stuff. This is why I tell y'all, um, this is why some people are so mad about what's going on right now. They're building a lot of anger up right now, okay? If you got um, veterans and stuff that's homeless and on the street and this and that, don't have nowhere to stay and stuff like that, and then you have these 
Palestinians and Israel, whatever you want to call these people, everybody that's over here. And they are in their apartments that they are being pushed in front of everybody that's here. And they're coming out of their apartments and they are in Walgreens and Walmart and all these stores shopping. And the veterans is on the street. And these are the people that went over there and fought for our country. It's something wrong with this picture, y'all. It's a lot wrong with this picture. There are people posting up videos talking about these big companies and jobs that's laying off people and this and that and that and this. I want y'all to pay attention to something, okay? And the, the people that's um, getting laid off and all of this stuff, they're talking about something else. Let me let me get away from this video for a second because I want to show y'all something. I hope I um, posted it up. Let me give me a second, y'all. <clears throat> Give me a second. I want y'all to listen to what this woman is saying. I think this is the one. Our youth right now is so hung up on watching, you know, um, these wretched, you know, celebrities and stuff like that. They're not paying attention to what's going on right now, y'all. Okay? Okay. Every, I don't know if this is going on in y'all cities and state, but everywhere you go going, it's a whole bunch of big, big companies that people are on strike right now. They're outside with signs and stuff, and they're complaining about their jobs. This is what they're complaining about. They're complaining about their jobs and that the, the, the um, owners of these big companies is tired of paying these medical and all of this stuff and making people, you know, being responsible for medical and all of this stuff. They're talking about how much the people that, you know, it started off a hundred and some dollars or 200 and something. Now it's two, the three and four hundred dollars. They're taking out their checks for medical and all of this stuff. Y'all, everybody's complaining about this, but I want y'all to go back in, uh, some years ago. I want y'all to go back some years where they, they didn't have to go through the jobs to get medical. You could just go to work and get your check. Only thing they would take out with taxes. And now they're taking out all this for medical. If you need to go to the doctor and this and that and this, they're taking this all out of your job stuff. Y'all, I want y'all to go back to when they wasn't doing that. And they didn't have to be bothered with that. I want you to go back to, at the time, you know, people are talking about, um, it's a big thing that they're talking about right now for people that get tips and stuff like that. They're trying to make them um, give them minimum wage because they're taking money out of their tips and putting it with their checks. OK, um, when you get a tip, that's something out of goodness of somebody's heart that you did a good job and they wanted to give you. But now the jobs, this is what they were doing. They are taking these tips. And now that they're bringing these, putting these tips on the line and these companies are going to have to start dishing out some more money. They got to go up on prices for the people that's coming to the restaurant. I want you all to pay attention to everything that's going on right now. OK. Don't be surprised, okay? Do not be surprised when all of these people that's laid out and on strike end up out, Asica out, okay? And they start moving these migrants in these jobs that they're not giving to the robots. Don't be surprised. These, you know, a lot of people are get from these countries, they're used to getting paid like $20 a week. So if you put them over here and lower minimum wage, these people going to still be happy. To work these type of jobs for some crumbs that you all been complaining about. Now they got some people in here that's like, man, I'll take that. I want y'all to pay attention to the replacement of everything that's going on right now. I want you to listen to this woman right here. I'm, I'm going to show you her. I'm just, I want you to listen to her. They don't want us to get the crumbs that fall on the ground. Nothing. They want to, matter of fact, they want to take it all away from you. And that's the part that I can't understand. I think these guys are getting in the back room, smoke filled room, and they're saying, hey, let's do this. Let's try to kill and let's try to change the market so we don't have to worry about unions anymore. Since June, unionized food manufacturing workers in Memphis have been on strike against management, against the conglomerate that owns their factory, and against an economy that's still tilted against workers. The factory makes soy protein isolate. Its clients are some of the biggest food manufacturers in the world, including Nestle, Abbott, and virtually anyone that makes a protein bar. The factory has been in operation for decades, providing good middle-class jobs until now. It's not just about the contract at this point. It's about being able to assemble and unionize and fight for your working conditions. What union? They trying to get rid of the unions, y'all. Listen to this. General. The strike was forced upon us. Nobody wanted to, to strike. We didn't want to come out here. Me being second generation. My father retired from here. I would like to be able to preserve this job for the next generation. When we started negotiation, we brought forth about 19 proposals 
and only a few of them affected people monetarily and we agreed on absolutely nothing we have a they're not trying to come to no agreement in these strikes y'all they want them to walk away they want the, they want them to lose these jobs so they can give it to people that um will work for less money and they won't be worried about they probably ain't even going to be paying no kind of insurance they not the government ain't going to be responsible for making the workers and all of this stuff pay um insurance and all this stuff they're trying to change everything up right in front of your faces i don't know if it's like this where everybody else is from but i'm gonna tell y'all this Everywhere I go, I see now hiring, now hiring, now hiring. And I'm not trying to talk about our people, but I'm going to just say the truth. A lot of people of our youth right now, they're so hung up on this, you know, um, this agenda that's going on and being pushed out here. They're not paying attention to the fact that, you know, um, a lot of people in our youth, they listen, they're getting zooted up off all of the street pharmacy stuff and, you know, listening to all of this mess that's going coming at them and, you know, they ain't thinking about everything that's going on. Instead of them go fill out an application somewhere because they're hiring everywhere, they're running out here robbing people. They're running out here taking their own people out. Okay, y'all? And at the same time, all of this is going on. They're out here trying to replace y'all. Keep on fighting each other. This is why I tell y'all, you know, it's this is when you separate. Okay, the people with some sense and the people that ain't got none. Because the ones with some sense, we sitting back watching what's taking place. We sitting back looking at the news and how our own people is out here taking out their own people. And this is the agenda that the music industry and, you know, Holly Weird has put out on us, y'all. A lot of stuff is going backwards right now and y'all don't even realize it. And the, 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 the sad part about this is every time a, a black folks get into that White House, it seems like they skin turn because they treat us worse than when they had all white people in that White House, y'all, to be honest. When they put Biden, when they, not Biden, but when they put Obama in there, everybody was, oh, the first black, blah, 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 blah. and then we found it now. He ain't, is he even really black? Just because he got darker skin doesn't mean he for us. He went in that White House. And y'all, y'all remember, so many people started getting kicked out. People were trying to pay. People was getting kicked off of um, assistance, all kind of stuff, y'all. They were trying to sell their, you know, they, during that time, people were still getting food stamps. Remember, y'all? People were out here selling their food stamps to pay their lights and gas. People were selling their food stamps to pay their rent. Okay, y'all? This is what Obama did for us. And he had started doing that before he even won the presidency, y'all. He had started passing laws, and I think that's why they pushed him on up forward, because, of, oh, he on our team. It does not matter if you vote Republican or Democrat. They're all working together, y'all. I'm just saying. Now, maybe not as, it, it, it's not so obvious when the Republicans is in office. It's not so obvious as the Democrats. The Democrats is running us in the ground, y'all. And when the Republicans was there, they were it, things were getting worse as far as racism. So what's the difference? What's the difference? They just let in a whole bunch of people that's racist, y'all. Little do y'all know it, and I'm going to be putting some clips together of something else that I want to show y'all. That the people that they just let over here, it's just like they let another version of the, the KKK in here. Because they can't stand blacks. This is why I was telling y'all, don't let them in y'all house. A lot of people was like, oh, I'm going to you know, help them. I feel so bad, these women out here on the street. You better leave them women alone for your house go kaboom. I'm just saying. Okay, y'all? And I know people is like, oh, but Trump and Trump and Trump. When Trump was in office, the racist people started coming out in bootloads, okay? They got they got braver and braver and braver coming out. Y'all see saw how they went to the White House, well, whatever you call it, the Capitol down there and took over, okay? Y'all saw how they did that stuff. They got bolder and bo they still arresting people right now for that. People are still going to jail and getting uh, jail time for what they did there in the, at the Capitol. 
The only good thing about Trump is he wouldn't have allowed this that's going on right now. And I want you to look in this, look at this picture right here. Don't she look like a ghost right here in the middle, y'all? Is she even real? Is she even alive? She looked like she, somebody has drained the life out of her right here. I was looking at her and I was like, what the hell is that? This, her skin color is gone, y'all. What is that? She got closer and closer to the camera and I was like, she looked like the walking dead. Uh, 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 y'all, my bad. I might not have meant to say that, okay, y'all? This is what she's looking like. That show. Y'all remember that series that was on? This is what she looks like right here. Look at this. What What the heck is that? Poor child needs some sun or something. Uh, does she drink blood or something? Y'all, what the heck did they let over here? Y'all, this is New York today. This is New York, y'all. No respect for the people that live in these buildings. They're all over the place. And like I told you, what's going to happen? You know, we're used to a little protest and, you know, people that they get a little excited and they start busting windows and taking stuff and this and that. They don't have to take anything. Everything is being given to them. So what you think they're going to do when they start showing anger? It's going to be just like it is in their country when they put some stuff together and stick it under their clothes and go kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Don't be surprised if, I'm just saying, y'all, pay attention to anybody trying to set some fires, Okay. Because in my heart of hearts, this is what I feel like is coming. Some kabooms and some fires. And all of these people that live in these buildings and stuff, that's paying their taxes and, and all of that stuff, look what they got to deal with. It's a seat of people. And I want, oh Lord, why didn't I put the other picture? I'm going to put it in another video though, y'all. This is how the seat look of people when they were coming in here over the border. Now look at all of these people in the streets. And they're still coming in, y'all. They are still coming in. And Biden just said that um, the black people are the one that's going to be most affected. If they don't start doing, you know, do what they said that they were going to do. If we were already having problems with the deficit... How are you still spending all this money and buying these people clothes and furniture and giving all of these people, think of all of these people that they, they gave $9,000 to, y'all. I want y'all to think about that as well. You know, this stuff pees me off to the 25th power, y'all, because if you are of well man and body to do all of this stuff here, do this shit at home. Go back to your country and fight for it. Don't just come around here and hold a sign and drive us out of our minds and take everything that's supposed to belong to us. Go back to your country and fight for it. Instead of coming over here and taking over ours and complaining about what's going on in yours. This makes no sense to me, y'all. This makes no sense to me. This don't even look like New York anymore. This don't look like United States anymore. This look is starting to look more like their country. And the closer it gets to election and all of this stuff, um, this is what we're being faced with. And even if Biden loses, look what the damage that he has done to us. How do we recover from this? They're not listening to the police. The police is arresting a bunch of people. And I'm going to tell y'all this. I sit back and I watched this for a while. And a lot of the police, is the, the people that were getting put in the, in the buses, getting arrested, they were women. Just like I told y'all. They were women, y'all. We got so much stuff going on in the world. And all of our polices now are being used. They're being used right now to try to control this bullcrap. 
This is what Biden has done. When, you know, when is enough enough? What more do a president has to do before people put their foot down and be like, enough is enough? Like, what the heck is going on here? Can anybody just go into the White House and just do whatever it is they want? When do, you know, um, people stand up to this mess and start pushing back and make the president get up out that seat? Because uh, event, uh, he's not qualified to be there, y'all. Not with all of this going on. And like I said, it's going on in their neighborhoods. They're not in front of his house. If Biden is the one that's aiding Israel or whoever it is that he's aiding, because I it doesn't matter to me one way or the other which one he's aiding. Because this is their problem, not ours. We have our own problems. But if Biden is the reason for this, why ain't they taking these protests to his front line? Not our streets. Ask yourself that question. Look at what they're doing. And they're out there protesting and they're speaking in their languages and we don't know what they're saying. They could be telling every last one of these people to go take us out right now. And do they think that the government is going to care if they come for us? They don't want us here either. Y'all, this is New York. This is New York, y'all. This is New York. And look at this police officer right here. He looks just like that woman. Y'all tell me if I'm tripping, but is some of the people that's out here look like they're already gone. It's just walking ghosts. Look at this police officer right here. He look like one of them. That somebody didn't train real quick and threw him out there. And I think the reason why they're training some of these police is real fast that's coming from these countries is because they can't understand what they're saying. So they're putting these police out there like this so that they can tell them what they're saying because they don't know what they're saying. But how do you know when he's translating, he's telling you the truth about what they're really saying, y'all? Do y'all see how vulnerable we have become? God, look at this mess, y'all. Look at this mess that's going on right now. Look at this. They standing on top of the buses. Every last one of them, don't take them to jail. Deport them. Send them back home. That's what you do. Deport they ass because back home. <sighs> y'all. Let me play this woman a little bit more in this guy. The plant that's in Gibson City, right before we went through negotiations, those, those guys end up, the maintenance department end up with a 9% pay increase, and the production department end up with a 6% pay increase. They didn't ask for, to eliminate anything, but since, I'm 90, since it's 90% of African American in a predominant African American town, for years, the factory is owned by DuPont Chemical, which agreed to contracts with good benefits and working conditions. But it was sold in 2020 to a conglomerate called International Flavors of Fragrances, and that's when things began to get dire. IFF made more than $4 billion in gross profit in 2022, but now it wants to take away overtime and wreck worker health care plans. They even want to take away paid lunch breaks. The company doesn't want to give us what we deserve. They don't want to give us the anything after eight. They don't want to give us better benefits. They don't want to give us, you know, the ability to take breaks freely uh, with no consequence. They don't want And this is why they're moving in these robots, y'all, at these big companies. I hope y'all hear me. This is why they're moving in these, the same thing that she's saying right now. You don't have to give no robot no um, lunch break, do y'all? You don't have to pay these robots. You just got to pay for the robot. And then after that, you got free labor. If they don't malfunction. Okay, y'all? They ain't going to no bathroom breaks. They ain't taking breaks. They not doing none of that stuff. You don't have to give them none of this stuff. Everybody's complaining about this stuff now, but they are not sitting back paying attention, y'all. Paying attention. I got to show y'all 
Um, I got to show y'all the pictures that were sent to me, somebody that work at Amazon, and how they have, you know, this test that they got going on right now with this robot in an Amazon warehouse. Jobs is being replaced. All of these people are not out here with these picket signs for nothing. Pay attention. Listen to this woman right here. Want to give us incentives. And so we're fighting for those unions that want to continue to fight for their betterment. The sanitation strike happened here in Memphis. If you can't stand for something that you truly believe in and your history, history have a way to go over again. I would think that it get it would get better, but it hasn't. Instead of it getting better, it's going downhill. We're going back to slavery time. Anytime you take all your stuff away, you have no rights, no say so, no nothing. Well, right now we have a year notice on our health benefits. Well, all of our benefits actually. Uh, they want to change that to 30 days. What that would mean for us is that all they have to do is give us a 30 day notice. They can take whatever they want away. Our premiums have gone up. Our premiums have doubled and tripled. Before we switched over to universal health care, we had Aetna. And Aetna was actually pretty good. Each week with Aetna, I was paying $167 a week. Um, and this is for a family of four. So for me, my husband, and my two children. Now I'm paying almost $300. That is a, a significant chunk out of my paycheck. I would at least get $700 a week, but now that this dwindled down to almost $500, $400, $500. IFF's holdings and subsidiaries make it a massive corporation. It owns the single largest share of the flavors and fragrances market and owns one of the largest shares of the soy protein market. Much of that comes thanks to the workers in Memphis. We put our life into our jobs because we held it to a higher standard. We had to recognize what we're doing. We're not making dog food or nothing like that. We're feeding the world. Babies, old folks like me, and people with different health issues, drink the insurance, different stuff like that from them. They, they very much rely on us, but they may claim that they don't by saying that since we've been on strike, we're going to hire what we need to keep it running. But the last time I checked, without us, you can't run the metrotons you need each day. Now you're running less than what, pretty much 90% less than what we usually run. In a day. And when it comes down to the final product and stuff, that's what matters. Then it's a lot of unskilled, unknowledgeable people in there working who put their life on the line every day. Because it's stuff in there, it only takes a split second for something to go wrong where you're going to be missing a foot, a toe, a head. We got that kind of equipment in there. We run old pieces of equipment like that. And if you don't know what you're doing, you'll get hurt. You'll get hurt or lose your life. They absolutely want to, in my opinion, they want to break up the union. This is one of the few jobs in the city that pays above the average warehouse wage. They're trying to force us out in, in hopes of, you know, having a company without a union because unions are fighting for stuff that they don't want to give. No, we're a single shop union. So... They don't have to worry about unions if they get these migrants in there, y'all. They don't have to worry about no unions. Because they're happy to make a hundred dollars a week if they if they get that. They're happy to make a low minimum low wage checks. They didn't bring all these people ain't coming over here that and they ain't saying that, you know, in our country we we get twenty dollars a week. They ain't saying this for nothing. If you come from a country where you're making $20 a week and you go up to $100 a week or $150 a week, you're happy. Don't be surprised when they leave a few people there just to train the new people coming in. They're not going to care about, you know, I have known people, and I'm going to say this personally, I know this, that put up money. And stuff, you know, they had they what they call it, 401k and stuff like that. They have put up these 401ks and this and that and this. And then they have worked over 50 years. I know people that. This is a true story. They cheated them out their money when it was time for them to retire. They didn't even get a portion of what they was claiming that they were going to get. People was thinking like, oh, when I retire, I got a nice little chunk of change coming. A lot of people, they cheat out of that chunk of change, y'all. Everybody don't get that.
It's just promise to you. They take it out your checks and all of this stuff and act like, oh, your stuff is building and you're thinking down the line and these years come up. They're getting bolder and bolder and bolder replacing us, y'all. Okay? I want y'all to pay attention to that. Um, It's a lot going on. Anyway, I got to get to this other video too. So I just wanted to jump on here and show y'all a little bit of what's going on in New York right now, y'all. And I know people going to probably be, you know, getting a little attitude because I said that, you know, it doesn't matter on either side. I can't be for either side because I'm tired of all of this mess. I can't be for either side, to be honest with y'all. Because it's not our problem. It's just like I come out to the house and I go to the store and there's two people putting paws on each other. That's them two people business. I'm going to walk on and go about my business, y'all. That's the police job to deal with that. Just like now, these these two countries is fighting. They're putting paws on each other, blowing each other up. That's not my problem. It's not the United States problem, y'all. We shouldn't have to um, feed everybody. We shouldn't have to house everybody. We shouldn't have to fill up their houses with furniture. No, 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 not off the our backs. Our bills shouldn't go up because we are giving all this money for their WAR that's going on in their country. This is just how I feel about it, y'all. We got our own problems. We got our own people that's homeless here. We got so many people that's on waiting lists. And if you could push all of these people in front of people and put them into apartments, then you could have cleaned up our streets. That just goes to show you they did not ever care about their own Americans. That's what I see. For you to care about everybody else and feel sympathy for everybody else that's coming over here. But you feel no sympathy about the people that's out here that's living on the streets that's from this country. Make this make sense, y'all. But I just want to jump on here and show y'all what was going on. Because I got to get to something much bigger right now. Before it happens. Because I got a feeling that it's something brewing right here. As far as another person that's on the chopping block. Okay, y'all? Anyway, um, y'all let me know in the comment sections what y'all think about this whole situation. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.